Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, I want to show you guys how to duplicate cougars instead of the normal fish like the northern pike, the muskies, or anything else like that. The cougar duplication glitch is alive and well, and if this does help you guys out, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and kind of get started with this glitch. So it works basically in the same way as the, the muskie or the northern pike does. You have to find two three-star cougars. I'm going to show a map here in just a little bit exactly some of the locations that I recommend that you guys do this at or find the cougars at. So here's one in Chala Springs. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and ride down to Benedict Point. There's another cougar down in that location that I really recommend. Now, when you are looking for these two three-star cougars, what you're going to want to either have is one of two things. You either want, to want a friend to join you, which you can see another person on the screen. They are helping me by picking up this cougar. Or you're going to want to steal a secondary horse and making that your primary by whistling the horse behind you and your own horse will follow to wherever you want to be able to do this duplication glitch at. So as you can see, I'm going to store the second three-star cougar on my friend's horse right here. And he's going to help me take it to where I need it to be. And then we're going to actually help out each other by making some money. Now here is the map. I've circled a couple different places on this map. So go ahead and freeze this frame for just a little bit if you need to check out. There's three locations down by Tumbleweed. And then I'm going to move over to the Blackwater area. And there is actually four different locations around this, this area. So we have Chala Springs, Benedict Point. Um, you have the one that's just north of Tumbleweed. And then you have Tall Trees, two of them there. And then you have one of the Great Plains. And then right by the Windmill in Blackwater. So there's a couple different locations that I was using personally. All of this was down, done down in the Benedict Point area. Two reasons for that. Number one, to stay away completely from anybody else. I didn't want to be stuck in like, um, you know, and I didn't really want to be by Blackwater. I didn't want to be in the town of Tumbleweed. There's just too many people that are around that area to really make sure that you are left alone and kind of secluded when you're doing this method. So basically what you need to do is wedge your horse into any tight spot. It's going to kind of, throw you off kind of weird when you actually dismount your horse. And then what you want to do is grab your your cougar or the second cougar that's a three-star rating from your friend or from your primary horse. Now, if this you're going to want to do this on your on your actual horse, not the horse that you either stole or your friend's horse. Now, you can do this on your friend's horse. I'm going to show you guys that here in just a little bit. But honestly, all you're doing is making sure that you're replacing that cougar. It's kind of falling off kind of funky. And then you guys could see there that it is working, that I am duplicating the cougar. So just kind of face the one that's on the ground, pick it up, replace it. It's going to fall off the horse and then just pick it up and keep the process going each and every time. So this is one location between the wheelbarrow and the, the little hut. And it's on the backside of Benedict Point. Now, another spot that's in Benedict Point that actually works really well. And we had a third friend that actually joined us here as uh, right between these two wheelbarrows and or barrels I should say and that little box so that's one spot that you can definitely go ahead and do it at it does work in all of these locations that I'm showcasing here on the video for you guys the other one that works really well is this one that's actually on the station platform for Benedict Point and then you're going to see me actually run over to my friend's horse that had the other cougar on it and I'm going to go ahead and grab this cougar on, off of the horse. And then I'm going to take it over to my horse. And it's going to do the same thing that you guys saw with the wheelbarrow. So the reason that you want to have it kind of in a like tight spot is because it kind of forces the cougar not to really be able to go anywhere. And it literally just like falls off the horse. And that's what causes it to be duplicated over and over and over. And honestly, you guys can make so much more money than the Northern Pike or the Muskies because they're... They're worth so much more. They're almost double the value for one. So basically by getting 50 Cougars, it's like getting 100 of the Northern Pike or the Muskie. So 
The last location that I want to show you guys down here in Benedict Point is actually behind this, this table right here, which is really close to that first location that I showed you with the wheelbarrow. You can see it there on the right-hand corner of the, of the screen there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my friend come over to me. I'm going to grab my the cougar here. And you can actually see that I went cougar hunting again, and I've got it so that more than one person can do this uh, with each other. So what I was doing is I was grabbing a three-star cougar, bringing it back down this spot, and then I was going out and doing it again or going hunting again for the three-star cougars because I wanted to be able to help my friends make a little bit of extra cash. Now, you could see that I pulled up my menu and that I was duplicating these these cougars pretty easy. Now, this was by far my favorite location down in this area. Now, my friend's favorite location was up on the platform, and then you're actually going to see me pan to a friend behind me because our other friend left and went to the butcher and sold them. He had about 150 uh, of these duplicated cougars. And yeah, so when he left, he was able, the other friend was able to put his horse into a tighter spot and then start making more money and duplicating the cougars in this area. So it's relatively easy if you can find these tight little nook areas. The one spot that I, the reason that I like this location the best is you never really get the animation for actually picking up the cougar. It picks it up really, really fast when it's on the ground. You don't see you actually like stepping over the cougar, having that long drawn out animation. And then it's just immediately on your shoulders and you just have to come, just kind of look at the cougar that's on the ground and then replace the cougar that's on the back of the horse and then just keep repeating that entire process the entire time. Now I can tell you that in this specific location, I was able to get about 113 cougars from the time that my friend that leaves us, that's on the platform right now, um, while well, I was doing it for a little bit. So he was only here for like five minutes and then he left. And then by the time that he went to Tumbleweed to sell them, sold all the ones at the butcher and then came back, I had 113, you can see right now, that I have 29 and he's about to leave here just in a second. You can see that if you watch the mini map, you can see that they're actually placing the horse in this, the location and exchanging cougars. So I had actually about 80 of them. So literally by the time that he rode from Benedict Point to Tumbleweed's Butcher and then back and sold all of them and then back down to Benedict Point just to be a little bit more secluded and away from everybody, I had generated about 80 cougars, which is absolutely insane how fast you guys can do this glitch. This make this one will make you guys so much more money than the Northern Pike or the Muskie ever will using this exact glitch. Now, obviously, getting the Muskies or the Northern Pike are way easier to to get at a very quick spot or spot just because you can usually get two Muskies or two Northern Pike or what other other fish that you're trying to duplicate very very quickly because they're they usually spawn, you know, a couple at a time really close to each other. Now you can see that my friend is, you know, repositioning his his horse and whatnot. It's getting kind of messed around back there, but he is working on it back there. That's why I chose this location to, to be the best one of them. Now you can see here in just a second that uh, we're all kind of just setting up at the platform. And this was like towards the beginning of us doing it when we were testing the different areas around Benedict Point. But I wanted to show you guys that, you know, you can you can do this with any horse and it doesn't matter which horse you're actually putting it on if it's if you're if it's your friend's horse now there's a problem going to be a little bit of a problem because that you, the horse does kind of freak out just a little bit when you put a cougar onto your non-horse but if you sit on the horse like say you had to go AFK for a little bit you your friend could put the cougar on them for you to make some extra money but if you're going AFK let your friend make some extra money and then just kind of let do its thing. So I just wanted to showcase that you can do it. It's just not really recommended. Just like myself, I went and hunted cougars for more than one person to be able to do this at a time. That's why two of us were able to do it later. Now you can see that I have about, you know, $7,300 to start. And I had a uh, 113 cougars to start with. And I'm going to get down and sell all of them really quickly here and make a ton of money. I'm going to have about $9,000 when it's all said and done. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And the one thing that I do want to tell you guys is you don't have to do it at Benedict Point. I chose to do it at Benedict Point, like I said, 
because it's away from everybody else. I didn't have to worry about griefers or anything like that, even though everybody's been pretty low key lately with the brand new update and a lot of the hostile or hostility factors that are going along with being wanted and uh, having some bounty placed on you guys. But if you guys did enjoy the video, again, like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Thank <laughs> you.